Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little overalls or dungarees for baby boys and girls between three and six months old using the Crystal Waves crochet stitch pattern. I made them to match the little cardigan sweater and baby hat that I already showed you in my channel. In the information box below, you will find the links to those tutorials. And in the information box below, you will also find some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 24 months. So be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now to make these little overalls for three to six months size, I used Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabread. I used a total of 144 grams and I used pink and white. Now you can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Now stay tuned in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the matching baby blanket. Okay, so let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. Now I'm going to be using two colors, pink and white. The main color is going to be white but I'm going to start with this pink color. Now, at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn you're going to need for this size. So here to continue, I have 86 chains. This chain here without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 15.75 inches, which is about 40 centimeters. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue with the first row. So here to start with the first row, into the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, into this fourth chain here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now, these three chains here counts as one double crochet, so I have two in total, I am going to make eight. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight double crochets, including the three chains, two, four, six, eight. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make my first corner. So in this row, the corners are going to consist of V stitches. So make a double crochet, two chains and then one double crochet into this same chain. Now into the next 24 chains, I'm going to make one double crochet. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. Now continue until you have 24 double crochets. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 24 double crochets. Now this here is one of the sleeves. Now into the next chain here, make the second corner. So make a V-stitch, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now into the next 16 chains, we're going to make one double crochet. This here is going to be the front or the back. So I'm going to make 16 double crochets. Finish, I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 16 double crochets, two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now into the next chain, we're going to make our third corner. So make your V-stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now into the next 24 chains, I'm going to make one double crochet. So beginning into the next chain, make your first double crochet and continue until you have 24 double crochets. This is going to be the second sleeve. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 24 double crochets for the second sleeve. Now into the next chain here, make the fourth corner. So make a V-stitch. Now I have eight chains left, so make one double crochet on each one of these chains until we finish this first row. I will meet you at the end.
I finished making these last eight double crochets. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 88 double crochets, including the double crochets for the corners and the three chains here at the beginning. So that's a total of 88 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now this chain never counts as a stitch. Here to begin the second row into the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now I'm going to make single crochets on each one of these double crochets, but I'm going to go through the back loop only. So into the next, make a single crochet, into the next, and so on. Here, let's see, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have the first corner into this chain two space and into each one of the remaining corners, you're going to make two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Now make sure to put a stitch marker here. And now continue along and do the same thing for these double crochets. So beginning into this next double crochet through the back loop right there, make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing I did. Two single crochets, two chains, two single crochets and continue along and do the same thing for each corner until you finish the second row. I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the second row here at the end into the third chain I did my last single crochet at the end of the second row I have a total of 104 single crochets from here on we're going to be increasing 16 stitches at the end of each row because on each corner we make four stitches so four times four that's 16 now for the third row I'm going to chain two and turn these two chains do not count in this row I'm going to start with a double crochet on top of the first single crochet and from here on I'm going to work a double crochet but I'm going to go through the back loop only until I come to the first corner so here I have that's three Eleven double crochets. Remove the stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now, here you can easily see the chain two space here of this corner, but I'm going to still continue putting my stitch marker right there. Now this is how you're going to work each one of the corners and for the single crochets in between you're just going to work one double crochet through the back loop only like this until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing on each one. Now at the end of this third row you should have a total of 120 double crochets so I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 120 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain one and turn. In this fourth row, we're going to make single crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into the remaining double crochets, I'm going to make single crochets, but I'm going to go through the back loop only until I come to the first corner. So here I have four, Thirteen single crochets now into this corner and into each one of the corners you're just going to work two single crochets two chains two single crochets and then continue on making single crochets through the back loop of each one of these double crochets and then do the same thing on each corner 
don't forget to return your stitch marker here to mark the center of this corner. Now at the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 136 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 136 single crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make double crochet. So beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now into these remaining single crochets through the back loop, I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the first corner. So here I have four double crochets. Fifteen double crochets. Now we have the first corner. Remove your stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each corner from here on as well. Now continue and work one double crochet through the back loop of each one of these single crochets until you come to the next corner where you're just going to do exactly the same thing that I did here in this corner. At the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 152 double crochets. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 152 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain one and turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into each one of these remaining double crochets through the back loop only, make a single crochet until you come to the first corner. So here I have four single crochets. Seventeen single crochets. Here's the first corner. Remove the stitch marker into this chain two space. Make two single crochets, two chains, two single crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. And then for the double crochets, you're just going to continue and do the same thing. A single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets until you finish this sixth row. At the end of this sixth row, you're going to have a total of 168 single crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making the sixth row. In that row, we did single crochets. I have a total of 168 single crochets. Now, what we're going to do next is divide the sleeves. So this is what we're going to do. But before, let me tell you um, how many stitches I have for each section. Each one of the front panels has 19 single crochets and 19 single crochets. For each one of the sleeves, this part here, it has 46 stitches. And then here for the front, I have 38. So 38 for the front, 46 for each one of the sleeves, and 19 for each one of the panels. So here to continue, this is going to be the first row because we're going to divide the sleeves. To begin here, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now into each one of these remaining single crochets through the back loop, make a double crochet until you come to the first corner. So here I have two, four, Nineteen double crochets for this front panel. Remove the stitch marker and into this chain space here of the first corner, make two double crochets. That's one and two. There. So now this front panel has 21 double crochets. Now to divide the first sleeve, we're going to chain eight. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
we're going to skip 46 double crochets and into the second corner into the chain space here make two double crochets now if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve you can the only thing is that when we finish this first row it needs to be in multiples of four now we're going to continue along and work one double crochet through the back loop only of each one of these single crochets until we come to the third corner then i'm going to meet you here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve finish making these double crochets for the front here I did 38 double crochets plus these two that's 38 39 40 and then here in this third corner I did two double crochets so here I have 42 double crochets for this section here now to separate the second sleeve chain eight that's three four five six seven eight now skip these 46 double crochets and into the fourth corner here make two double crochets that's one and two now continue along and finish these last 19 double crochets here so i will meet you at the end of this first row I'm here at the end of this first row this is where we have divided the sleeves now this row is done you should have a total of 100 stitches at the end of this row so each one of the panels here has 21 and 21 for the front side or the back side this here has 42 stitches and under each sleeve you should have eight so that's a total of 100 stitches at the end of this first row now for the second row I'm going to use this white yarn so I'm going to turn here and I'm going to go right on top of this last double crochet. I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through, and I'm going to chain one. Now into this same stitch here, which is the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now into each one of these double crochets, make a single crochet as well. And once you get here to the chains, you're just going to make one single crochet on each chain and then continue along and finish this second row. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where we did single crochets. I have a total of 100 single crochets. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now in this third row, we're going to begin the pattern. I'm going to use my crystal waves crochet stitch. So to begin here on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now into the second single crochet, make a single crochet, chain two, and right into this same stitch here the second single crochet make three double crochets now skip one and into the next which is the fourth single crochet if you count from the beginning one two three four make a single crochet two chains three double crochets Now for the remaining single crochets up to the last four single crochets at the end of the third row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make another shell so single crochet two chains three double crochets this is how you're going to continue to the end you're just going to skip three and into the fourth you're going to make your shell i will meet you right here four stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this third row I'm here at the end of this third row. Up to here, I have 25 shells. I still have four single crochets left. One, two, three, four. Now, here at the end, I'm going to make one last shell. So I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the second or into the next, I'm going to make a single crochet, two chains, and right into the same stitch here, make three double crochets. I want to make sure that I finish with an even number of shells here so that when we divide the legs, it's much easier. So now I have 26 shells to finish into the last 
single crochet here, make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the third row with 26 shells. Now for row four, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. This is a one row repeat. So you're going to start with a single crochet on top of this single crochet. Now we have the first shell. We have three double crochets and a chain two space. Into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space of this same shell make three double crochets and that's all again we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet two chains and into the chain two space make three double crochets this is how you're going to continue to the end of this fourth row at the end of this fourth row you're going to have 26 shells as well i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you how to finish this row and how to start the next since from here on you're just going to continue on your own i'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 26 shells now to finish here at the end just go into this single crochet here at the end and make a single crochet you should have a total of 26 shells at the end of each row from here on. Now for the next row, you're just going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, you make a single crochet. So if you notice, you always end with a single crochet and you always start with a single crochet. And then on each one of the shells, into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. We have the next shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. And that's all you're going to do here. For the rest of this row to finish remember you're going to make a single crochet here at the end chain one turn make a single crochet and then start the next row exactly how i just showed you now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here from here on but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do okay i finished this part here i have done a total of 23 rows so from here up to here there's 23 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row it's measuring about 29.5 centimeters which is about 11.5 inches now what we're going to do here is we're going to make single crochets along this front panel so to do this here here's the last row make sure that when you do this part here you are on the right side so this here is the right side this here is the inside of the little sweaters so here to continue we're going to chain one now here at the end i have this last single crochet here i'm going to make two single crochets now for this part here i'm going to work one single crochet on each one of these single crochets for each row so into the next row here make a single crochet single crochet into the next row single crochet into the next and so on now for this part here we have 23 rows so i'm going to have 23 plus one so 24 single crochets here because into this first single crochet i did two so i'm going to have 24 then into this row of single crochets make one and then here for the yoke we have double crochets chain one double crochets chain ones into the double crochet make two one two one two one two, one, two and then one here where we have the chains i will meet you up here and i'll tell you how many single crochets i have and then we're going to work the second row i finished making these single crochets along this front panel now i have a total of 37 single crochets up to this last row of chains if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay the important thing here is that when you do the second front panel you make the same number of single crochets now for the second row we're going to chain one and turn now here beginning on top of this first single crochet make a half double crochet now into the second single crochet work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet 
into the next front post half double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do for this second row now make sure that you make these half double crochets nice and loose so continue i'll meet you at the end of the second row i'm here at the end of the second row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets now here at the end on top of the last single crochet make a half double crochet and this is how i finish the second row with 37 stitches now make sure that this part here is nice and straight if you notice that this part here is shrinking a bit just go ahead and use a slightly bigger hook size maybe a 3.5 millimeter hook um, for me since i did these half double crochets nice and loose i don't have that issue so now for the third row i'm going to chain one and turn here we're going to do the same thing beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now the next stitch here is a back post so make a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochets into the next back post half double crochet and so on continue like this to the end here i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. On top of the last half double crochet here, make a half double crochet. I have 37 stitches here. Now, if you notice, I did not make any buttonholes. Buttonholes for girls go on this side, buttonholes for boys go on this side. So what I'm going to do here is the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through. Continue watching, I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use. Normally I use 9, 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size buttons, but I'll let you know at the end what size button I'm going to use. So now we're going to continue along the neckline, making front post and back post half double crochets. Once we get here to this side, we're going to repeat the same thing we did here. So here to start the neckline, we're going to chain one here at the end into this half double crochet space, make a half double crochet into the next row, make a half double crochet and into the third row, which is the first row of single crochets, make a half double crochet. So here I have three half double crochets. Now I'm going to go into this next double crochet for this front panel here, and I'm going to make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet into the next, and so on. Now this is all I'm going to do here all around the neckline, front post and back post half double crochets. So continue like this, I will meet you at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the neckline, now here at the end we have these chains, so right into the second chain, make your last half double crochet. And this part here is done. I have a total of 90 stitches. Again, if you're off by one or two stitches, it's okay. Just continue. Now, what we're going to do here is single crochets. Uh, for the first row here of the second front panel, you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here, these three rows. So I'm going to start you off and then you're going to finish the rest. So here, you're going to chain one and then right into this last half double crochet that I did, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now into the next row, which is uh, chain three here at the end, make two single crochets. Into the next row is a row of um, single crochets, make one, then two, there now we have this row of single crochets make one now here along the edge here we're going to make one single crochet at the end of each row here the important thing is that when you finish here at the end you have 37 stitches or however many stitches you had when you did the first front panel so continue finish the first row for rows two and three you're going to chain one turn and then work front post and back post half double crochets exactly how we did it here on the first front panel so finish this part i'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
I'm here at the end of the third row for this second front panel. Now here at the end, on top of the last stitch, I'm going to make a half double crochet. And here is the third row. The front panel is done. So we finish both front panels here. So this facing me will be the left side and this will be the right side. Now what we're going to do here is join both front panels and then continue with row 24 here on the wrong side. So to do this here at the end of this front panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and right into this half double crochet space, I'm going to make a slip stitch. This is so that my yarn is right here, right in the middle of this last stitch. So what I'm going to do here is, because this little um, outfit is for baby girls, I'm going to put my left front panel on top of the right front panel, right there like this. If it's for boy, you're going to do the opposite. So I'm going to join here. So hold both front panels like this and here for this left side we have the row of single crochets so right here we have the row of single crochets and then two rows of half double crochets so right into this row of single crochets for this left front panel so now grab a loop here this is the last loop that I have here for the right front panel pull it through chain one insert your hook back into these same stitches through the single crochet and through the half double crochet here at the end and grab a loop and make a single crochet chain one now we're going to turn for row 24 here this is the continuation so right into this same space or into these same stitches. This is the half double crochet space and this is the single crochet space. Here make three double crochets. Here I'm going to be adding two extra shells at the end of this 24th row. So here's the first increase. So here I need to make one more double crochet. So here's the first shell. Now here at the end I'm going to make the next one but for now you're just going to continue all around we have the first shell here into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets now this part here is the same of how we've been working the stitch pattern so continue all around finish this 24th row I will meet you right here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 24th row. Here's my last shell. Up to here I have 27 shells, including this one here that we added at the beginning. Now to finish here, I'm going to add one more shell. So to do this, I'm going to go right into this row of single crochets for this front panel. And I'm also going to insert my hook through this uh, front panel that's on top and I'm going to join here this end by making a single crochet here now chain two and right into this same space here make three double crochets so here's the last shell here Now to finish this row, we're going to go into the same space here where I did the first shell. So right into that um, stitch space right there, make a single crochet. And here is row 24 with a total of 28 shells. Here in this row, we added two extra shells, this one here and this one here. Now for row 25, we're going to chain one, and turn now beginning into this first shell here we have the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and right into the chain two space here make three double crochets now we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space three double crochets now here you're just going to continue with the stitch pattern all around at the end of this 25th row we're going to have 28 shells I'll meet you here at the end 
I'm here at the end of this 25th row. Here's my last shell. Now to finish here, we're going to go to the side where we have this chain space and in there make a slip stitch. And here is row 25 with a total of 28 shells. And this is how it looks. Now, if you notice, I also went ahead and added these buttons. These are 10 millimeter size buttons. I purchased these buttons from Hobby Lobby and I added four. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to divide the legs. So first we're going to divide here the crotch and then we're going to go here and make one of the legs first. So to do this, to divide the legs, we have 28 fans. So I've marked two fans here for the center. These are the two fans that we made when we joined the front panel. So these two here. So put a stitch marker into the chain two space of this shell and after the three double crochet. So put a stitch marker there. Now for this leg, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 shells. Then for the back side, I've marked two shells as well. And for the second leg, same thing, 12 shells. So make sure that you put these stitch markers in the same way. So two shells for the front, two shells for the back. So to do this part here, we're going to divide um, the crotch first. So to do this here, we're going to chain two and turn. Here we have this first shell. We have three double crochets. Here make three front post double crochets. Now into the single crochet here, work a front post double crochet as well. So here we have four double crochets. Now to divide the first leg, chain one, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 of these shells and right into the next shell, which is this one here where I have the stitch marker. I'm going to work a front post double crochet into this single crochet right there. Now we have the next three double crochets, work three front post double crochets. Now we have the next single crochet here, make a front post double crochet and into these last three double crochets, make three from post double crochets. Now we have the next single crochet here, make a front post double crochet. So here for the back side, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets, chain one, skip these 12 shells so now turn and right into this single crochet right here make a front post double crochet and into the next three double crochets make three front post double crochets so that here you also have nine double crochets let's see we have one plus three, that's four. I just need to work one more here, five. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. To finish, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. Now, make sure that you leave a nice long tail here. I think I um, cut my yarn too short. Now you're just going to join these stitches here with the opposite side so that this part here is closed. You can do this um, once the legs are done. So this part is done. That's how it looks. So now we're going to go here to this side. Now this is the back side. So on the left side, we're going to work this first leg and we're going to go right under the chain space. So insert your hook right there. Grab a loop here. chain one now right into this space here we're going to make three double crochets one two 
three. Here we're going to be adding an extra stitch. And this row, the first row for the leg, I'm going to work this row from the wrong side out because the last row, row 25, I worked from the right side. So this next row needs to be worked on the wrong side since we're going to continue with the pattern here for the leg, but we're only going to be working with these 12 uh, shells here plus the one that we're going to add here. So now to continue, I have the next shell here. So right into the first shell, into the second double crochet here, work a front post single crochet. Now, if you notice, there is a gap here. And if you don't want to leave that gap, what you can do is the following. We're going to make a double crochet decrease. So let me show you. You're going to yarn over and right into this double crochet right here, find the leg. Uh, what I mean by the leg is like right here. We did the front post double crochet. So right here through this space, right in the center of the double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go into the first shell here for the leg and into the second double crochet here, work a front post single crochet where you close through these three loops. And that way there's no gap and that's how it would look here on the right side. Now chain two and into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. From here on, the pattern is the same, front post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains and into the chain two space, three double crochets. And this is how we're going to continue for this first row. So I will meet you right here this is the last shell to show you how we're going to finish the first row for the first leg. I'm here at the end of this first row for the first leg. Now here's my last shell up to here. I have 13, including this one here that we did at the beginning. Now to finish here, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go into the middle of this double crochet right here, which is part of the crotch area here, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go here to the side where we have this chain, so right here, and join with a slip stitch and close through these three loops. And this is how I finish the first row with 13 shells. Now for the second row, chain one, turn. Now here we have the first shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain two, and right into this chain two space, make three double crochets. Now here, the pattern is the same. Three double crochets, front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the next shell, two chains, and then three double crochets into the chain three space. Continue like this for this second row. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. Up to here I have 12 shells. Now here in the center where we added this extra shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet. Now to finish this row, I'm going to go directly into the chain space here where we started the first row. So right there, join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row with a total of 12 shells. The first row was the only row that we had 13 shells. So in this second row, I've decreased that shell here in the middle. So now we're going to continue with 12 shells. I decided to do this because I noticed that the leg here is a bit too wide. So the second row is done. I have 12 shells. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and turn. Here we have the first shell, which is the last shell that I did in the last row, into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, chain two, and right into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. Now this part here is the same. Front post single crochet, two chains, three double crochets into the chain two spaces. Continue like this all around. I'm going to meet you at the end of this third row to show you once again how to start and how to finish each row from here on with 12 shells. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here's my last shell. This is shell number 12. Now to finish here, remember to start the row, we chain one and then make the front post. So into this 
chain one space you join with a slip stitch now to start the row you chain one and turn and then make a front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the first shell chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets and this is all you're going to do to continue for the rest Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue, I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the first leg. I have done a total of 18 rows. So from here up to here, I have 18 rows and it's measuring about 13 centimeters, which is about five inches. Now, if you want to make the legs longer, you can. Uh, for the size that we're making, I think that it's fine. We still need to add about two inches more here. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, like I said, I did 18 rows. So for row 19 here, I'm going to chain two. And right here we have this first single crochet. So work a front post double crochet. Now we have the next three double crochets into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet now skip this single crochet and go into the next three double crochets and make a front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and so on here we're going to be skipping these single crochets and we're just going to work front post and back post double crochets into the shells of each one of these three double crochets so like this so you're just going to work from post and back post double crochets into the double crochet so this shell now continue like this all around from post and back post double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this 19th row i finished row 19 here to finish i just joined to the first front post double crochet with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop at the end of this 19th row i had 37 stitches now I'm going to change yarn color, that's why I cut my yarn, but if you're not going to change yarn color, then all you have to do is just chain one. Now to join, just go here where we joined to finish the 19th row on top of the first stitch, grab a loop here, chain one. Now for about three or four rows, this is what we're going to do. Beginning into this first stitch, which is the first front post double crochet, I'm going to make a front post half double crochets. Here we're going to make half double crochets. So the next one, back post, next one, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. Here you're just going to work these stitches exactly how they are front post and back post half double crochets now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here but all i'm going to do is just repeat the same thing to finish each row you're just going to go here on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing continue watching i will let you know how many rows i'm going to do here so i will meet you at the end of that row and remember at the end of each row you're going to always have 37 stitches so continue i'll meet you at the end of that row I finished making this part. I did a total of three rows here with pink. At the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. Continue watching. I'll leave you the finished measurements towards the end of the video. Now we're going to make the other side here. So to start, we're going to go right under the leg right here where we have this chain insert your hook now this first row here for the second leg is going to be worked from the wrong side out so grab a loop here chain one and right into this same space here make three double crochets one two three now we have the first fan here out of the 12 what i'm going to do here is so that there is no gap between this one and this one i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to go right in the middle of this double crochet this here is part of the crotch area so just insert your hook right there right in the middle or you can go into the space i'm just going to go through the double crochet grab a loop take two loops off 
Now into the second double crochet of this first shell, make a front pull single crochet where you close through these three loops. And that way there is no gap there and you already have your front pull single crochet. So now chain two and into this chain two space, make three double crochets. From here on the pattern is the same. You just make a front post single crochet into the second double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochets. Now continue like this all around for this first row for the second leg. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second leg. Now up to here I have my last shell. I have 13 shells including this one here in the center that we added. Now here before we finish we're going to make a double crochet decrease so that there's no gap between this first one and the last shell. So right in the middle of this double crochet insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go right into this chain that we did at the beginning right there and insert your hook, grab a loop and join with a slip stitch. And now this row here is done with a total of 13 shells. For the second row, chain one, turn. Now here we have the first shell, which is the last shell I did before I finished the first row. Into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet. Chain two, and into the chain two space, three double crochets. And from here on, you're just going to continue with the pattern front post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. Now continue like this all around for the second row for the second leg. Here at the end we're going to decrease this shell that we did here so that we can continue with 12 shells instead of 13. So I will meet you here at the end of the second row to show you how we're going to do that. I'm here at the end of the second row for the second leg. Up to here, I have 12 shells. Now, I still have one last one, this one here in the center that we added. So I'm going to decrease because from here on, I'm going to continue with only 12 shells. So to do this, I'm going to insert my hook into the second double crochet like this, and I'm going to make a front post single crochet, but I'm not going to close it. I have two loops on the hook. Now I'm going to go into the chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch and I close this single crochet like this and that decreases that stitch there and now I have 12 shells at the end of this second row. Now for the third row chain one and turn here beginning into the second double crochet work a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space work three double crochets. Now this row has worked exactly how we did the second row. The only thing is that we're going to have 12 shells. So continue like this for this third row. I will meet you here at the end to once again show you how to finish and how to start each row from here on so that you can continue with the second leg. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 12 shells. Now to finish each row, you're just going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now to start each row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now we have the first shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two and into the chain two space, three double crochets. From here on the pattern, continues in the same way. Now to finish, you're just going to join here to the side where we have the chain with a slip stitch, chain one turn, and then repeat the same thing. Here you're going to do exactly the same thing we did for the first leg. You're going to make 18 rows counting from the very beginning, and then you're going to make one row here of front post and back post double crochets, and then you're going to make three rows in the second color of front post and back post half double crochets and that's how you're going to continue here for the second leg so finish this side and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished making the second leg so this part here is all done now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here to the sleeves so I'm going to work one row here and this is more of a decorative row this is so that this part here looks a lot nicer so this is what I'm going to do and it's optional you can leave it like this but let me show you what I'm going to do right here right under the sleeve right in the middle right there this is where we added these extra stitches so right in the middle Grab a loop here, bring it through, 
chain three. Now this row is going to be worked from the wrong side. So now I'm going to skip one stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch, chain three. So this here is going to put me right into the first single crochet here for the sleeve. Make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch and so on this is how you're going to continue all around the sleeve this is how it looks once it's done let me show you it's got these little scallop edge here all around so that's how i'm going to continue to finish i'm just going to join here to the first um right here where i grab the loop with a slip stitch cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop and then i'm going to repeat the same thing here for the other side so finish this part and then i'll come back and show you how to close here okay i finished making this side here at the end i just joined the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and then i did the other side as well so this part here is done you can also do this row here from the right side this is how it looks here look how pretty you can see like little scallops you can also do it like i said from the right side and it's going to look like this so that would be up to you so this here is all done so now let me show you how to close here the crotch area so we're going to go on the inside i'm going to remove all of these stitch markers we don't need them anymore i'm going to start here from the center and i'm going to do one side so i'm going to Find the center here. Remember, we had nine double crochets. We have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine here. That's two, four, six, eight, nine. So find the center. So right here, insert your needle there. Insert once again, and I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go stitch by stitch on this side and on this side, making sure that they correspond. And then just close this thing here. And this here is going to now close. There, tie a knot. Make sure you look Make sure that you take a peek on the other side to make sure that it looks okay. I know it's going to be fine for me, so I'm just going to make a knot here. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, and now I'm going to go here on this side. We have some yarn that was left from when we did the legs, so I think this is going to be easier to close this in the center or what you can do is just don't cut your yarn just come back towards this way and then close this side i'm going to go right here and i'm going to find these stitches and join now there is no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing is that you close this gap And just make sure that it doesn't come undone there i'm going to make a knot here i can always hide that in afterwards and let's take a look perfect that's how it looks It's absolutely beautiful. There it is. This is how it looks. Here's the back side. Here's the back and the front here. 
And the buttons that I used, I used four, and um, these buttons are 10 millimeter size. These are heart-shaped buttons. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby, and the buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets that we did here. So it's all done. So now let me give you the finished measurements. Okay, so from under the sleeve to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 35.5 centimeters, which is about 14 inches. From the crutch area to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 16.5 centimeters, which is about 6.5 inches. The total length from the top of the shoulder to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 47 centimeters, which is about 18.5 inches. Now, this measurement from the middle here of the neckline to the crutch area here, it's measuring about 24.5 centimeters, which is about 9.75 inches. Now the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. So based on these measurements, this little romper is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from zero to three months and up to 24 months. Now down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now here's the matching little cardigan sweater that this little outfit goes with so this is how it would go look how beautiful that looks it's absolutely beautiful now I have the matching little hat as well in the information box below I'll go ahead and leave the link to these tutorials as well the little cardigan and the little hat so i hope you like this tutorial comment below and let me know what you think now as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box as well thank you so much for your support now in another tutorial i'm going to show you how to make the matching baby blanket so stay tuned okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time